generate contours in the eSurvey CAD software interface. Hello everybody. Welcome to video tutorial on how to generate contour maps in the eSurvey CAD software interface. Till now, we have learned how to generate contour maps within CAD package. In this video, we will import point data available in the Excel file and generate the contour map. If the contour is generated in the software interface, finding out the volume based on contour area is possible. Also, if custom contours are required, that can be done only in eSurvey CAD interface and not directly in CAD drawing. First, we need to create a file. Let us create a file by name Contour Sample by selecting Topo, Contour, Earthwork option. To import elevation, we have to select CSV or Excel file from Import Data item of Surface menu. We have to specify column numbers of serial, easting, northing, elevation and remark as an import file. By clicking on the import button, elevation data will be imported. If we have boundary data in CSV file, even that can be imported. In this demonstration, we will create boundary using the software only. Open contour map window from contour menu. To create an automatic boundary from elevation data, we have to specify the appropriate scanning radius. Scanning radius is a factor which you need to specify to help the software compute the boundary. You need to specify the maximum distance at which you have taken elevation during the survey. In contour lines group, we will specify the contour interval and difference of elevation for major lines. Say, 0.5 meter is contour interval and 2 meter is the interval between major lines. Along with contour generation, we can also create grid levels. So let us select grid interval in elevation grid tab, say 5 meters. We have to select items which we want to output in display layers group. Let us select contour, boundary, original elevations, contour annotations, grid and grid elevations. Now, by clicking on View button, Contour Map will be created, which can be exported as a CAD drawing by clicking on CAD button. The software also displays elevation statistics, which includes minimum elevation, maximum elevation, number of contours, area of boundary. For better results, we always recommend that you import boundary instead of allowing the software to decide the boundary. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, you will learn how to draw custom contours.